everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cute summer crochet top. The full pattern with multiple different sizes can be found on my blog for free. Just click the link down below. All right, so what you're going to need to make this top is you're going to need some Lion Brand Kobu yarn. Today I'm going to be making it in the size extra small, so you're going to need two balls of Kobu yarn. You're also going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. The bigger crochet hook is for the main body part of our top and then the smaller one is used to make the eye cord which will be our straps. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, two stitch markers, and a darning needle. Let's get started. Alright, so I just wanted to mention that you can find all the sizes for free down below. Alright, so today I'm going to be making a size extra small, so you want to go ahead and chain 70. Alright, once you've chained 70, you want to skip your first chain and you want to create a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over once more, and pull through. Alright, we've created our first single crochet. Now, you want to chain one, skip your next chain, and work a single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so go ahead and insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull through, and create another single crochet. Alright, next, you want to chain one, skip one chain, and create another single crochet. Alright, continue to do this till the end of the row. So chain one, skip one chain, and single crochet. Chain one, skip one chain, and single crochet. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end. Alright, so I just finished my first row. Okay, and your row should look something like this. It's going to be a series of single crochets and chains. You may have already guessed it, but we're actually making the granite stitch. Alright, so let's go ahead and work on row two. You want to chain one, turn your work, and you want to go ahead and single crochet in that first stitch. Okay, so sometimes it's a little tricky, but it's right here. This is where our first stitch is at. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over once more, and pull through the last two loops. All right, so here we go. We have one single crochet. Then you want to go ahead and make another single crochet in that chain space. Okay, and now we're going to skip the single crochet from the previous row. Chain one and make a single crochet in that chain space. And so that is actually the pattern for row two. You want to chain one, skip the single crochet from the previous row, and create a single crochet in that chain space. All right, you want to continue doing this till the end of the row, until your last single crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I will meet you at the end. All right, so I'm at my end of row two, and you should have just completed a single crochet in the chain space. Now you wanna just complete one more single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, and that completes row two. So you should have something that looks like this. Okay, you'll start seeing some defined V stitches. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on row three. You want to chain one, turn your work. So now we're working on the back side, okay? And you want to go ahead and create a single crochet in that first stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You should have two loops, a single crochet, or yarn over and pull right through. Okay, now you want to chain one you're gonna skip that next single crochet and you're gonna single crochet in that chain space. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and chain one, skip the single crochet right here and single crochet in that chain space. 
Okay, so chain one, skip the single crochet here and single crochet in that chain space. You want to continue doing this till the end of the row, until your two last single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end. All right, so I'm at the end of my row three and you're going to see two single crochet left. You want to chain one, skip that next single crochet, which is right here, and single crochet into the last stitch. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. Alright, now the next part that you have to do is you have to continue repeating rows 2 and 3 55 times. So you're going to have a total of 55 rows. Okay, and this is just for the size extra small. You can find all the other sizes for free on my blog, so just click the link down below. Alright, so go ahead and continue to do this, repeating rows 2 and 3. 55 more times. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will meet you back here. Okay, so I just finished the last row of my top and you should have something that looks like this. You're gonna have a very defined V stitch, which is because this is the granite stitch. Okay, so the last thing that we have to do is we're gonna just create a slip stitch border and this is just to finish it off neatly. I thought it looked better <laughs> when I was designing this top. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you want to chain one turn your work okay and we're just going to create a slip stitch in this first stitch right here okay so you want to insert your hook okay yarn over pull through that first stitch and then pull through once more all right and that's how you create a slip stitch so create another slip stitch all the way till the end okay so you want to Insert your hook into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through once more. Okay, and continue to do this till the end of the row. All right, it should look something like this. Okay, so keep on going. I will meet you at the end. All right, so I just finished with my slip stitch border. Okay, so now we have finished the front piece of our top. So now all that's left to do is create a second square just like this, and that'll count as our back piece. Once that is done, it's time for whip stitching. All right, so go ahead and do that. Okay, so I just finished crocheting my back piece, so you should have something that looks like this. Okay, I went ahead and aligned both of my pieces because now it's time for the whip stitch method. So the easiest way to do this is to simply just flip your work, okay, and make sure it stays lined up. Then go ahead and grab your darning needle and insert your yarn. All right, and we're going to start right here from the top. We're going to be whip stitching it until about half an inch from the bottom, okay? And this is to create that cute opening on the sides. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Insert your darning needle into the bottom stitch, okay? So your top right corner, and then put it through the top as well, and pull through. All right, once that is done, it should look something like this. Okay, let me see if I can get a little bit of a closer look here so you can see it more properly. All right, then we're gonna go from the bottom and we're gonna insert it into that stitch and into the top. Okay, and pull through. 
Okay. All right. So from the bottom stitch into that top stitch and make sure that it's properly aligned just because you want the stitches from the front and the back to be similar. Okay, so go from the bottom to the top. All right, and continue to do this until half an inch from the bottom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here. All right, so I just finished whip stitching my sides of my crochet top. Okay, so now you should have the front and back pieces together. Okay, it's starting to resemble like a top. All right, so now we are going to make our I-cords and the I-cords will count as our straps for our top. Okay, so I went ahead and did the left side just to show you what it would look like. So we would create an I-cord that looks like this, okay? And then we are simply just going to tie it to the front and the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with making our I-cord. This is when you're going to need your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so make sure you use the smaller one. And you are going to start off by chaining three. Okay, so start off by chaining three. All right. One, two, three. Okay, and then you want to insert your hook into that second chain. So one, two. You want to yarn over and pull through that first chain. Okay, so you should have two loops on your hook. One, two. Then you want to insert your hook into that last chain, so your third chain, yarn over and pull through. Okay, so you'll have three loops on your hook. One, two, three. Now, here comes the tricky part, so you just have to be careful when you do this. You want to take your hook out of the first two loops. Okay, carefully hold them with your finger. Then you want to take the yarn that's on your left side yarn over and pull through the first loop, okay? Then insert your hook back into that second loop, yarn over and pull through the second loop, okay? And then insert your hook back into that third loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, and that's basically it. So that's how you make an I cord. So you want to continue to do this until you have 18 inches. So an 18 inch I cord. Okay, so let's do it again together. So carefully take your hook out of the first two loops. Okay, and then hold them together. Carefully yarn over, pull through the first loop then insert your hook into that second loop. You just have to be careful to make sure that you have all the strands on there. Okay. Yarn over and then pull through that second loop. And then finally, put your hook into that third loop, yarn over and then pull through. All right, so it should look like this. Okay, and then you just want to continue to do this until you have an 18 inch I cord. Okay, when you do that, you should have an I cord that looks like this. So it'll actually start to form like a spiral. Okay, so it should look something like this. Oops. All right, so now that we know how to do that, now it is time to tie our I cord to our top. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now that we have our I cord made, it's time to sew it on to our front panel. So what we need to do is, for the extra small size, you're gonna count eight V-stitches 
from where you seamed it, okay, when we did the whip stitch method, and you want to count it all the way down. So you just want to carefully grab it like this, and then just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's going to be right here, and you want to grab your stitch marker, and you just want to place it right here so you don't lose your spot. You want to do the same to the opposite side as well. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and grab your eye cord and your darning needle. Go ahead and insert your yarn through your darning needle. And you want to make sure that you grab the beginning of the eye cord, okay? And the easiest way to tell if it's the beginning is by just looking at the first three chains that we made, okay? Usually it'll be a lot flatter than the opposite side, which will be more spiral, okay? So now that we know where our spot is, go ahead and take out your stitch marker. Okay, and then you want to go, oops, can't believe I just did that, <laughs> lost my spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, here we go. So you want to go from in to out, okay? So go from the back side go through that first chain space, okay, and pull through. All right, and then carefully go back from the, go in from the front to the back. I try to, when I go to work in my seams or when I'm tying something, I really try to hide my seam as much as possible, so I'll follow the stitches. So once you have it looking like this, you want to make sure that your front part of your eye cord is on the slip stitch side and you want to just insert your hook right there and then make sure it goes into the correct spot in the front and just kind of eyeball it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just, I just like it when my seams are hidden. Um, okay, so now just go through one of those V stitches or the slip stitch side of it and then make sure it goes through the front panel as well as the eye cord, okay? And just keep on doing this till you think it's secure enough, okay? Because it is going to be holding up the front and the back. All right, looks like I've got it. Okay, so continue to do this until it's secure and then just go ahead and work in your ends. All right, I think it's nice and secure. I think I have to go through one more time here. Okay. All right, and once you think it's nice and snug, just go ahead and cut this and work it in. Okay, and then now all you have to do is just work in your tail end of your eye cord, and I just like to work it into the middle of it, okay, so it's as less noticeable as possible. So once you've sewn on your one eye cord, all that's left to do is make three more eye cords and then just sew them on from the front to the back, making sure that they're positioned in the exact same spot. And then that's it. Now you have a really cute summer crochet top to wear. Okay, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe.